Hello, so today we're going to be trying something a little bit different. Um, I'm mixing these three fabrics because I think they all complement each other. This baby pink glitter for the tails, this for the bottom loops and this for the top loops. I've got my loop templates here. Um, I really like the look of this tail so I'm going to use this die as a template to draw around for my tails. I'm also going to be using some embroidery floss. A lovely flower for the top of the bow and some beads. I'll show you that when we get to it. Um, the embroidery floss, I bought a big load from AliExpress. I bought it to actually braid my daughter's hair, but um, yeah, I just looked at it and thought, oh, I could make something with this to do with hair bows. So I shall share my design with you now. And we'll see how that turns out. I've never made one of these bows before, this is the first time. So first of all, we're going to draw around our template on our fabric. So as I said, I'm going to use this, this tail template. Um, that's actually a die, but I'm going to use it as a template. And I'm just going to draw, I'm going to draw around the outside rather than the inside. So we get a nice good size. This die I got from AliExpress. It makes around a three inch hair bow. Let's have a look on my board. Yeah, just over three inches these tails are, but I'd say more three inches. I got this from AliExpress. But like I say, you can always use these as a template. You don't have to use them just as a die. So that's our tail on the baby pink. For this lovely rose print glitter, I'm going to do my big tails. Uh, big tails, my big loops, should I say. So this is going to be the bottom loops. These templates is that's this set here, and that's from glitterglitteronthewall.com. So you can't see that, can you? Can you move that out of the way. I use these ones quite a lot. And that's where you can get these templates from. And this this lovely flower pattern with the smaller loops. I'm going to draw on the fabric on this side rather than on the back and I'm going to pick out the flowers because I want the flowers on the top so if I go for this corner here so I have the flowers peeping out through the corner Be this side for the other. Should we have them ones? No, I'll go for these ones. And then what we'll do is we'll join these two halves up. So taking a pair of scissors, where did I put my scissors? Yeah. I'm just going to cut all of these shapes out, all three. So starting with this big loop, I'm just going to put a dab of glue on each of those end tabs and bring those into the centre. Don't worry about this bit here, you won't see that when you turn it over. I do that just to make it slightly wider this way. So that's that part done. And this can then go on top of your tails.
and then this part which will be the top tails excuse the noise outside I think the, the neighbours are doing something in their garden and then this can then go on top of these As you can see, you can pick a mixture of fabrics that complement each other and as long as you pick the same kind of colour family, that makes them all tie in together. Next I'm going to take my clip. So I've got my 45mm double pronged hair clip. These are the ones I prefer to use. And I lined it, that's, that's optional, but that is what I like to do, personally. And I'm just going to attach that to the bottom of my bow. Now, once we've got the clip on here, I'm taking three pieces of embroidery thread. I've gone for a blue, a darker pink and a light pink, just to bring out, again, bring out these colours in my bow. This is cut to... 15 inches in length or around 37 and a half centimetres and I'm going to tie a knot in one end got this needle, it's uh, a needle with a bigger eye so I can fit my embroidery thread through there. And what I'm going to do is, I've got these beads, this was like a children's jewellery making kit, that was from Aliexpress and I've picked out some beads again to complement my bow. So on one we'll have a flower one of these, isn't it? I'm just grab another one of those. We will have a. So if we have a flower, a light pink, a blue flower, a light pink flower, and this sort of dark pink little barrel shaped bead. And on this side we'll do the opposite, we'll have the lighter pink barrel bead and the darker pink flower. So, beginning with these three, I'm going to take my thread. And I'm going to thread every one at a time. And then we're going to take our first bead, which will sit at the bottom. I'm going to place that onto our thread. Like that. And then the pink flower. And then the little blue flower. Use my teeth there to get that really pulled through tight. 
and then we're going to slide them all the way to the bottom, just like this. And then we're going to unthread this. So I've clipped it onto the end of my board to hold that into place. And I'm braiding this thread by going left one under the centre, right one under centre, left one under centre, right one under centre, all the way down until you reach the bottom. So as you get towards the bottom, again we need to take our thread and we need to put that into the needle. So this time we want to put the flower on first because that's going to be at the top. Again I'm going to have to use my teeth to pull that on because it's so tough. And then the bigger flower. And then the little barrel shape. And then we can continue braiding. As you can see there. And continue braiding all the way to the end. And once you get to the end, we're going to tie this off into a knot. Making sure we get to the end of this braid where these tassels are hanging. Pull that really tight and then we can cut these tassels this end so that they're the same length. Like that. So this is what you end up with. So I've cut a little strip off of my matching fabric to this one. I'm going to paste some glue on one end and I'm going to stick it on so it's coming from this way. So that's the halfway mark going to place them under there and wrap this around so that that's gripped underneath. I'm just going to cut off this excess piece here. So this is now what we've got so far. And next I'm going to take a rose and I'm going to pop a rose in the middle there. So I'm going to just snip off this stem. Push that remaining piece of stem down flat some hot glue onto the bottom of my rose, pop that right in the centre of my hair bow there, Let's 
And there you have your finished hair bow with little dangly braids. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. Like I said, just something a little bit different that I wanted to try out. And with it being spring, I thought that these floral fabrics were really cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.